This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You remember I became a civil engineer because I wanted to work on the really big things. And now I find myself more concerned with how organizations work and with how people think than soil and concrete and steel and water. The hierarchy is a little bit deceptive because we use the metaphor of the pyramid and it makes it seem like those needs at the bottom must be satisfied first before working our way up the pyramid, we can get to what Maslow called self-actualization. The needs at the bottom are food and water and shelter and security and safety. These are the things that civil engineers work on. This is why we have civil engineering infrastructure to provide for those needs at the bottom of the pyramid. But the pyramid doesn't really work in order like that. The hierarchy is, is a misnomer. It's really a complexity of needs. One of the things about production pressure is that we are willing to sacrifice some of the things at the bottom of the pyramid, security and safety, so that we can achieve some of the things that are further up. That could be sense of belonging, it could be whatever the mission is related to, it could be sense of community, it could be self-esteem, is certainly a big one. The things at the top of the pyramid sometimes come before the things at the bottom of the pyramid. At the very the top is where meaning making resides. That's what do things mean? It's a social process, it's a psychological process, it's not a technical process. When we think of safety, there is the physical safety that exists at the bottom. We want to be free from the kind of kinetic threats like explosions and collisions and collapse. But there's a psychological safety that exists in the middle of the pyramid. And here we want to be free of propaganda or fake news. And then at the top of the pyramid, we find leadership and meaning making. And what safety means up there is entirely different than what it means down at the bottom. How do we attack? How do we threaten that feeling of safety at different uh, levels of the pyramid? Well, down at the bottom, it would be the collapse Moving up a little bit further, it might be a data disruption or a data corruption attack, but when we get to misinformation, when it's not just denial of service or corruption of data. It, you want all the physical infrastructure working exactly as it's intended to because it carries your fake news or your propaganda message. There are three dominant theories of human motivation and they operate at different levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Down at the bottom, the food and the safety and the security, this is the Freud's pleasure principle. They're all just seeking pleasure. Utilitarian ethics comes out of here. The utilitarian approach to rational economics comes out of here. But if you move a little bit further up, we have another Viennese psychologist, Adler, who says it's not about pleasure, it's about power. We're all motivated by seeking power. And this speaks to some of the motivation of those employees in our organizations who are working towards autonomy. Autonomy is a huge motivator. They want to be able to have control over their own efforts and see the product of their outcome. At the very top is Frankel, another Viennese psychologist, Frankel's meaning making. And what Frankel showed us from his experiences in the concentration camps is that you can live under the most depraved conditions without food, without water, without shelter, without security, without the psychological safety. And you will persist if you have a reason to persist. It's the meaning that you make out of it under the most depraved conditions that kept some of those prisoners alive. Those who lost their meaning lost their lives. So Frankel gave us Maslow's top. What is the meaning, what is the reason that we do what we do is this commitment to a higher purpose and the way that we construct the meaning out of it. 